So this week you're going to be combining images for your song lyric assignment. You're going to be combining three images uh, into one image by using some of the techniques that I'm going to show you here in Pixlr. So as you can see, I've uploaded my first image. Um, you want to you want to consider working on your background image. So the image that everything else is going to be added on top of. Um, this is going to be my background image. I have two other images that I have uploaded that are just waiting for me to basically copy and paste. Okay, so I have those here. All I've done is I've gone into File, Open Image, and I've done that for all three of my images here. Okay. So my background image is going to be the shot here of the little girl. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlay this particular textured piece onto this particular image. So I'm going to go up into my tools palette and I'm going to grab my marquee tool. And this is going to allow me to select any part of this texture that I want. Okay. Once I've selected it, you see these uh, little dots. These are called marching ants. You'll see these in Photoshop as well. Once I've made my selection, I'm going to go to my edit tool and I'm going to copy and I'm going to go right into my original image here. And all I did was to get that back to select on it was uh, select on the top bar and I'm going to go edit and I'm going to paste. Okay, and I can see my texture is right here. Of course, it's very small. So in order to resize that texture, I go back up to my edit button and I'm going to go here to the button called Free Transform. What that's going to do is put you know, these pieces around this particular selection and I'm going to pull and drag and you can see I can scale it or I can take it out of scale. And I'm going to set that and I'm going to hit my Enter key and when I hit my Enter key it's going to ask me if I want to apply the changes. I'm going to say yes. Okay, and go ahead and apply the changes. Okay, now obviously I have covered my original image, which was here. Okay, I'm over in my layers palette now, and I can see I've just pasted this layer right on here. And if I wanted to see the layer underneath, my background layer, I can just click on and off from my layer to see what's happening. Now, what I want to think about doing is taking this layer and bringing down the opacity of this layer so I can see the background layer underneath. So I've selected that layer, in, so I know it's in blue, I know it's selected. And this opacity button here in my layers palette, I'm going to drag down and you're going to start to see the image underneath appearing. Okay, I'm going to bring it down to around this 50 to 60 mark. I like the way that that texture overlays on the back and what it's doing to the tree. Okay, now obviously she has been, her skin and her dress have also been overlaid. So I want to bring back the original image underneath just of her. So I'm going to go over here. This is my eraser tool. I'm going to grab my eraser tool and you can see it's very small. Once I select a tool, all of my options for that tool are at the top of the page. So the first thing I'm going to do is make that brush a little bit bigger. I'm going to go into the 100 or the 150, actually even 200. I'm going to click back on that image, and my opacity here can be set anywhere from 1 to 100. Okay, If I go in my opacity and it's just too bright or too much, okay, too heavy, then I'm going to undo that. I'm going to go back one step. And I'm going to bring my opacity way down. So what this is going to allow me to do is work in great detail and work in stages. Okay, so my opacity basically, something's fully opaque, you can't see through it. Okay, so I'm going to bring this down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eraser tool and I'm going to start coming down the side of her and bringing back the original image. Okay, and I want to work in great detail. I really should be zooming in when I do this so that I can really see am I on track or am I not on track. Okay, So I'm going to go down completely on her skin and dress. This will take a few minutes. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to be right back with you. Okay, so you can see now I've gone in and I've completely erased 
on this top layer, layer 4, to the piece that was underneath my original layer. So if I take this top layer off, I can see my original image. And when I place that layer or check that layer box, I can see the layer on top of it. This is the point of working in layers, so that you can be working on different parts of the image at different times and not be affecting the entire image. What I want to show you here is I've placed this layer on, I brought down the opacity of that layer, I can still do that if I want to. It's not set in stone. If I decide after erasing I want that layer to be more opaque or less opaque, I can still do that because I have options on every single layer and I kind of like it a little bit more opaque. You can still see some of the flowers and things down here. But we've allowed that layer to come through and shine a little bit more. Okay, So that's the point of working in layers. So we copied this particular layer, we took the marquee tool, made a selection, into file, copy, we pasted it into our other image. We're going to do it one more time because with the song lyric you have to use three images together okay, to create um, this new image based on your song lyric that you have completely designed just from listening to the song. Okay, So I found this texture here that I thought I'd like to place on this image as well, but only in the top right corner. So here's the particular image that I uploaded. I'm going to again take my marquee tool and I'm just going to take a little bit on this one side. I just want to put it a little on the one side. I'm going to now copy that selection. I'm going to go back into my original image and I'm going to paste it in. Okay, same thing as we saw before, we have the selection, but now we're going to go File, or excuse me, Edit, Free Transform, and this is going to allow us to stretch okay, that particular selection. Now if I want to stretch it to scale, I have to hold down my Shift key, and then stretch it will stretch to scale. Otherwise, I can stretch it, I can make it thinner, I can make it wider, okay? So if you want to stretch to scale, just hold your Shift key down as you're pulling and dragging on that particular side of the image. Now I only want this in that top right corner and I'm not sure how much of it I even want. So I'm going to move this over. I do this by once I select the image, once I hit the tr free transform, I can move this around wherever I want or I can go, if you have trouble doing that, go to your tools palette. Okay. Yes, I'm going to apply the change. This is a move tool right here. I can still move this around okay, that, with that move tool. All right, once I'm happy with that placement, and again, I can still move it because now I have this as a separate layer. Okay, Here's layer 5 on top of layer 4. Okay, I'm going to play with the opacity, bring down the opacity on that particular layer, and I really just want this in that top right corner, so I'm going to even move this over a little bit more. Once I've found an appropriate place for that layer, okay, I think I might want some of that pattern on her dress. Okay, I'm going to keep it there and I'm going to bring that opacity down just a little bit more so I just get a nice little pattern right in this top corner. Okay, bring that down just a hair more. Okay, and then again, as I did before, I'm going to go to my eraser tool. I've placed that layer on top of my original two. So now this is the third layer that I've created. I've got my background layer with the girl, my first layer with the, tr uh, with the uh, blue pattern, and my third layer with this little design. I'm going to take my eraser tool. Again, check my brush. My brush is way too small right now. I'm going to go into a little bit of a larger brush. And then all I have to do is go in and erase the parts of that layer that I don't want, that I don't want to see. I don't want to see this seam. Okay, where this layer is. I'm keeping my an eye on my opacity. I want it very low for this so that it's very subtle on the changes that I'm making. Okay, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to erase this line right in here. And actually, I'm going to bring the opacity down just a hair more. It's still a little heavy on the opacity. I just want a little bit of an idea okay, of that layer. Now, if I need to go larger down here, once I click on my brush tool, I've got a lot of options on my brushes. Okay, I can make that an even larger brush, go a little bit more broad. All right. 
I'm going to keep her hair and her skin tone, but I think I'm going to leave a little bit of that pattern in her dress. I'm going to bring that brush down a little, a little bit more. That was a little bit large. And again, working in very close. I'm going to take that pattern off her skin because that will just look abnormal. Working in very closely is the key. I'm not working in as closely as I should be. I should be zoomed in, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I just want to give you a sense of how this can look. Now, I can go in, I think I'll go in and take this pattern off of her dress and just leave it so that we have this nice background and this nice pattern in the top right corner. Okay, so I hope that helps you. Good luck with your uh, song lyric assignment and your merging of images. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks.